Today we have Dr. Holt from the Portland Medical Center with information on frostbite and when it's time to go to the emergency room. It's that time of year. Haley and I have been talking about how cold it is outside. I now have gloves in my coat because it's cold and if you have any sort of problem with circulation, frostbite can be an issue. Tell us a little bit about what frostbite is. Yes, frostbite is, of course, it's the season for that. And um, around the area where we live, mm -hmm. kids like to ski, adults like to ski, and, and there are people who are predisposed to getting frostbite. Uh, we mentioned people with an illness called Raynaud syndrome, mm -hmm. where their circulation and nerve uh, is not as good as it should be. And so those people are, are definitely predisposed to it. Mm -hmm. Frostbite itself is actually uh, the crystallization of the, of the water in your extremities, anywhere really. It could be your ears, nose, uh, hands, anywhere on your body. It, the water actually crystallizes and freezes. Mm -hmm. And you don't necessarily know how bad that is until um, you have warmed the tissue up in an appropriate setting. Okay, and uh, it's funny because with weather warnings and things like that, it can happen very quickly and people are sometimes not aware of that. At what point, what symptom do we get when we should go to the emergency room? So that's, that's a very good question. Frostbite can happen literally in a matter of seconds. Mm -hmm. If the wind is blowing, uh, the wind chill is low, you can step outside and if you're not appropriately clothed, you can get frostbite again literally in seconds. Um, there are varying degrees of frostbite. There's mild frostbite where you just you get pain um, and numbness at the site, and that will always usually get better. And but there's more severe symptoms where it actually you actually lose the sensation in your fingers or toes or ears. So if that's the case, um, then that definitely needs urgent medical treatment because that is similar to, in a sense, an amputation at that site. Uh, where that occurs. Okay, so most of the time if kids come into the emergency room and they have frostbite, how do they, how does it end usually? Is it, is it? Thankfully, by far and away, the, the majority of the time it, it ends well. There's no loss of tissue or no loss of digits or no loss of the ear, but mm -hmm. there are times when it can be a concern. For instance, if you are out hunting with somebody or your parents and, and you get a frostbite, mm -hmm. um, at that point you need to do your best to seek urgent medical attention. Things not to do when you get frostbite. Do not rub, rub your tissues, rub your ear, rub your nose, because that can actually make things a lot worse. Wow. Um, do not urgently rewarm those, that tissue unless you are at a facility where you can keep those warm. So what typically happens is people get frostbite, they go back into their cabin or their camp, and they uh, warm their hands up, warm their feet up, uh, and then they get frozen again, and then they come into the treatment facility, and that's, that's actually can make things worse. Okay, so you're at the new hospital. Tell us a little bit about how the facility is uh, really quickly and, and, and how the new emergency room it's, is. Uh, it's wonderful. The site is, is big. It's, it's, there's room for everyone, and uh, the facility is just state of the art. We've got all new equipment, all new, uh, stuff and it's cool people should come down and check it out okay great well thank you so much dr hold if you want some more information we'll actually have um, all of this on our facebook page and um, we can get you the number to dr hold as well right now let's take a look at your interstate